Okay, so let's say you have this strong Krogan warrior rigged up and good to go inside Unreal Engine 4. And then you upgrade your project so you can use Unreal Engine 5. So now your twist bones nodes say deprecated. And you can't make new ones and rig up new characters cause things are different. Yeah, no fun. But Clan Erd Mod has got it figured out. If you want a simple twist bone functionality inside your control rig blueprint, you can now do this instead. Make a copy of your existing old control rig first. Always work on copies in case a reaper hacks into your brain and makes you do weird things. Get rid of the old crap if you got any there and let's twist those bones. Right click and look in the constraints section for rotation constraint. That's the one you want now. You can wire it up to your forward solve flow right away or do it later. Just like with the old twist bones node, you want to drive the twist bone closest to the thing that's doing the twisting first. Here that is left elbow twist too. Set this bone as the child in the rotation constraint settings. The type is set to bone by default, which is fine. Toggle open the section called parents. Here you will specify which thing you want to copy the rotations from. You can use a bone, but also a control if you like. We will pick the left wrist bone in this example. If you already wired up the node to the execution flow, you may notice that your twist bone just did some stupid stuff. Don't get your quads in a twist. We're not done yet so this is normal. We now need to tell the constraint to filter out some of the rotations cause we only need twist. Uncheck all of them except for the axis that points down the length of your bone. In this case it is the Y axis. This may differ depending on how you made the skeleton for your character. The twist is working already, but it is strong like a Krogan. You can turn down the weight at the bottom of the node. Now it only rotates half as much as the wrist bone does. If you only have one twist bone, you're done here. If you have more, then copy the rotation constraint node, but don't wire it up yet. Pick your next twist bone, further away from the bone that drives your twist. In this case, twist bone 1. The parent for this bone's rotation will be set to the previous twist bone which is already twisted. This works because control rig executes the nodes one at a time, in sequence. You can play with the weight to get the amount of twist just right for what you need. This also works for lower leg twist bones. If you want to twist upper arm bones, then take a look at the starter project contents that Epic Games provides. In the example character folders there is a control rig called underscore procedural. It has more advanced counter transformations to handle the twist for the upper arm and shoulder. Anyway we're done here, go make some fun explosions and kill some reapers or something.